All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to lazy load routes with React Router. Lazy loading is a technique where components not required on the home page can be split into separate code bundles and downloaded only when the user navigates to that page. You can think of it as incrementally downloading the application. It helps reduce initial load time, thereby improving performance. For our example, let's learn how to lazy load the About page. What I first want to do is make the About component bulky on purpose. I'm going to go to lipsum.com and generate 20 paragraphs of text. I'm going to copy the text and paste it in the About component. Now I want you to observe the bundle size when the entire app is loaded on initial load. Open DevTools, open the Network tab, right click, empty cache and hard reload. You can see that the main chunk is about 10.8 KB and takes 19 milliseconds to load. Now let's lazy load the about page and observe the difference. To lazy load a route, we need to use dynamic imports and React Suspense. Step one, I'm going to comment out the import statement for about page. Instead, I'm going to use the dynamic import syntax. For dynamic imports, we need a default export of the component. In about.js, remove the export keyword and at the bottom, export default about. In app.js, use React Lazy and dynamic imports. So import React at the top and then the about component. Const lazy about is equal to react.lazy. Lazy is a function that takes another function as argument. This argument calls a dynamic import. So import from the components folder from the about file. Let's move this to the bottom. A promise is returned by this dynamic import, which is then converted into a module that contains a default exported React component, which of course is our about component. So that is our step one. Step two, we include the lazy component as part of the route configuration. Lazy about. Let's save the files and head to the browser. If I now empty cache and hard reload, you can see in the network tab, the main chunk has reduced from 10.8 KB to 6.7 KB. And the time also has reduced from 19 milliseconds to 15 milliseconds. We have improved our initial load time. But there's a problem. If we try to navigate to the about page, we're going to see an error in the console. A React component suspended while rendering, but no fallback UI was specified. To fix this error, we have to use the suspense component from React. In app.js, I'm going to wrap the lazy about component with React suspense. So react.suspense, opening and closing tags, will wrap the lazy about component. On React Suspense, we have to specify a fallback prop, which can be any React element. For now, I'm going to leave it as the text loading. If we now go back to the browser, network tab, homepage, empty cache and hard reload, you can see the main chunk is still 6.8 KB. If I clear 
the network tab and navigate to the about page, you can see that a new chunk of code is downloaded. This chunk corresponds to the about component in our application. Now we don't see the fallback loading text as the size of this component isn't large. If you do want to ensure the fallback element is loaded, throttle the network speed to slow 3G, go to the home page, empty cache and hard reload. Navigate to about and you see the loading text. This is pretty much how you can optimize the initial load time with React Router, React Suspense, and Dynamic Imports. While you haven't reduced the overall amount of code in your app, you've reduced the amount of code needed during the initial load. And if you think about it, as the application grows in size and more third-party packages are installed, the bundle size bloats up causing the initial load time to be very long. This is a common scenario when you're building analytics apps where the data visualization libraries are huge and affect the performance. A few users might not even be interested in the charts, in which case you can lazy load such routes. Well then, thank you for watching. Please do leave a like if you're enjoying the videos and I'll see you in the next one.